One of the ways to reduce confusion for students is if we have a workspace that has lots of information. So we have this gray section and then we have this blue section. So let's say we just want our students to be concentrating on this. We don't want them to get lost down here in the blue section. One of the ways we can do that is to use a ghost group. So you can see that I have groups here and they're named after um, civil rights um, icons. And we also have a ghost group. So if I switch over here to my students and ghosts or student groups, I'll see that there's students in Malcolm and Martin and Rosa and Emmett, but no one in the ghost group. So what this means is that I can then hide the groups using the ghost group. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna go to edit, and I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom of each card and I'm gonna say ghost group. So I'm gonna select only the ghost group. And then I'm gonna hit done. And you can see now it's only the one group. Similarly with here, I'm gonna edit, I'm gonna, select only the ghost group okay so now this group and this group are associated with the ghost group similarly i can change these ones and these ones so what's important here is now if i go and i pretend that i'm one of these students here um, i'm going to get a different view All right so now i'm previewing at a student one i can see that i'm in the malcolm group and so i can see the work that i have here but you'll notice as i scroll down nothing's in this blue section. I can't see anything that I'm not associated to, which means that all of a sudden, even though I can see there's a section heading, I actually can't see the work and be overwhelmed with it, what's going on. What's great about it is I can check what's in the ghost group by just clicking here. And so I can see all of these are associated to the ghost group, which is not a big deal because they're also associated to all the groups. I can hover over and see that. Now, if I look down here, I can see that this is associated to this group and this is associated to the group, gross group, which means that it's hiding. Again, all groups, so all the students can see it. And this one, because there's no one in that ghost group, it's the one that is hiding from the rest of the students.